What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lug Away Junk Removal and Demolition. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back me. I took a hiatus. Welcome back you. Welcome back all. Day in the life today, bringing it back for you. Um, took a little hiatus, like I said. We've been doing a lot of commercial work. Um, tough to film jobs like that. They're just big and all over the place. Um, we've just been busy with just work and not convenient jobs to be filming. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in the personal realm of life as well. Uh, so filming took a back seat for a minute. Um, I'm glad I was able to get those uh, Q&A videos out there. You guys seem to like those. I'm loading up questions for, <clears throat> for another one of those as well. Uh, but I wanted to bring you a day in the life. It's easy to film these when we have a day like this. Um, so we're going to start off the day. I'm on my way to the shop now. It's 6.30. Uh, we'll start off the day with a garage clean out over in Walpole. I'm anticipating a full truck. She says uh, everything's kind of staged in the garage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that there's going to be stuff coming from inside the home as well. Uh, this customer is the same woman that I filmed when I was ripping up the floor in her basement and I cut up a, I believe it was a putting green and a ping pong table. The thumbnail on that's junk removal emergency. I'll put the uh, link to it right up there. Um, she had called, like last minute, needed something done before um, they had to go trench out her basement for a... Uh, for water lines, whatever. Repeat customer though. So when I had finished that job, she was like, hey, you know, I'm gonna be putting my house on the market, yada, yada, yada. Um, so, you know, now three, four months later, she's given us a call uh, to do that job, which is great. Um, so we'll get that job done, hit the dump. We're gonna go do um, some construction debris removal in Somerville for a contractor buddy of mine. I believe it's window casings and the debris that comes along with that. I'm, I'm sure <clears throat> I'm sure it's gonna be a little more than I anticipated. He sent me some pictures um, and you know, the way that you kind of quote on a picture. Now this guy understands my price structure because you know, he's used us before, but you know, you get a picture. He sent me a front angle of one pile and a front angle of a second pile. Um, had this been someone else, I would have said, listen, I need some more pictures, but I told them, I was like, listen, I might fill up a third of a truck, you know, you know the name of the game. If it fills more, cost is gonna reflect that. If it fills less, vice versa. Um, or, you know, same thing, <laughs> whatever. Um, so yeah, we got that going on. Uh, depending on how much space that actually fills, um, we will bring that uh, to the final job of the day, which is going to be an office clean out. Um, over in Newton and we've done this we've done this company twice already so the first one I filmed we took some file cabinets out and um, what else was there it might have been like a small desk this is not those that 15 file cabinet thing we did at the end of one of the day in the lives um, but needless to say you know it's a, a repeat so a whole day of repeats um, final job should probably be a little less than a full truck. Um, it's a bunch of desks, and we, we just took out like most of their desks last week. Um, but uh, desks and I guess some debris from whatever <clears throat> construction they're doing um, in there to renovate, make the place look nice. So we're on our way to the shop now. Probably take us uh, another 10 minutes to get there. We get the truck inside the shop now because what's the temp? It's 25. Which is surprising because I think it was like negative 15 in uh, in Texas the other day. Crazy world we live in. Um, so we get the truck in the shop. Uh, we'll back that bad boy out. We get the tools in there from yesterday still, which is great. We really don't have to pack anything. There is some debris in there from a small clean out we did yesterday. Um, but we broke it all down. So it's basically just covering the floor. Uh, really not taking up any space. So um, without further ado... Let's dive in. Pulling in the shop the back way today. 
little road closure up there it's good to show you the uh, parking though so if we were to park outside you get a nice massive mound of snow blocking us so I had told the, the guys that plow uh, this lot, they, they share industrial space kind of behind us over there. Um, I was like, listen, we're gonna park the truck inside the shop so we don't have to deal with shoveling it out, keep, the, keep it nice and warm. So I told them, I was like, listen, you can you know push some snow up over there if you want. Uh, Cause normally we would park there and they would push the snow elsewhere. Uh, so I figured, you know, I'd make it a little easier for him. The guy just pushed all of the snow from the parking lot over there. So I was like, listen, you know, WTF guy. All right. I'm going to show you guys what it is like to walk into this place now. Not as spacious as it was before. Bam. Smack. Picks up a lot of space. It's our little sliver of access there so normally normally I tuck the gut in a little bit and I slide by but uh, we'll unlock these garage doors prop the door open get the bad boy started back her out and get on with the day Right, guys we are at the site so this is the crap that was left in here from yesterday um, this is all the stuff we're taking today we're gonna dump these take all this we're leaving the snow blower leaving the bins all this back here not too much um, we're taking this piece long piece and then we'll come back here a lot of stuff coming in the shed over there. This stuff we're pulling from the basement right now. Basement's done, right? Um, let me get a little walk back here. There's a bin right there that we're gonna take. And then we're taking these two flower things. Very light two chairs and we got a little engine over here what's it for let me just take a little generator all right we are out of the backyard so we got everything here from the back shed now So everything in here is going to go, she wants to keep the coolers, anything with the pool, irrigation, compressors, all the rest of this stuff is coming with us. So while Connor's pulling all that stuff out, we'll kill two birds with one stone. He's going to create a pile here, metal there, junk there. I'm going to bang out this garage and then go help him. That's all packed up there. The rest that's left is metal. Taking the file cabinet, still gotta throw that thing in. I'm gonna go help Connor. All right, the truck has been moved. We got all this junk, metal here. And this is basically cleared out. We still have some metal in the garage. Obviously we saved that for last. So all this stuff she wants to keep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sweep everything, probably pull it out, sweep it, put it back in, uh, make everything look nice for her. Uh, so we'll get the pack in this truck, take it from there. All 
right, the job is done. Sweeping up in there. Now this isn't a packed truck. I don't know what else is. So we got this cleared out here. We got the shed looking nice. I thought we were gonna have to do a second trip, but when you start playing that big game of Tetris with the truck, you're able to get everything in. So we're gonna head over to the dump now, kick off this metal, dump the truck, head over to Somerville. We'll talk numbers after uh, we hit the scale. All right, guys, we are here at the dump. Tossing the metal off. Uh, so these are, these are the fines. So that, that. I think this is like a, to hold like a, a boat or a canoe. I don't know, something, something might be able to use. Always hold on to some of the good stuff. Uh, so we'll continue firing this stuff off dump the truck uh, we may have time to go back to the shop and offload those tools um, I'm gonna draw up the invoice for this customer right now so we were there for um, an hour and a half which seemed longer but we were there for an hour and a half uh, filled up a full load the only extra items were um, it was just one tire so um, you know 10 bucks for a tire so we're going to, we're going <laughs> to, a lot of movements and noise back there. We're going to uh, fire this stuff off, hit the dump, um, hit the scale, take it from there. All right, we are dumping the truck now. She weighed in at 10.9. Uh, so it's probably like right around a thousand pounds. Uh, not too bad. Get some film action of this thing dumping. Send her forwards. We're good to go. Slowest body in America coming down here. Gravity only. That's the way we roll. All right, guys. We just left the dump. We're back at the shop now. Offloading some of that stuff we kept. Um, weight will, came in at, at 1080. So I said 1,000. Came in at 1080. It's like 75 bucks. Um, so we're good to go on that. We are going to uh, dip out of here, head over to Somerville, 30 minutes there. Fill up, depending on how much we fill up over there. Um, we'll shoot to the job in Newton. We may have to hit the dump, because um, I think the job in Newton's probably gonna be like three quarters of a load. So if this is a little more than a quarter, um, we'll shoot to the dump, um, dump that debris, head over to Newton, and finish up the day. All right, so we are backed in here in Somerville. As you can see, very tight, tight quarters. So I'll be pulling a Dukes of Hazard and climbing up and over that way. See how nimble I am. quicker than expected.
All right, guys, she's cleared out. I'd say it's a little more than what we had expected, but it's all right. So we're gonna close this up, hit the dump uh, before we go to the next job. And since uh, I am not that skinny, I'll be climbing up and over. All right, back in action at the Needham dump. 35 minute ride here because we didn't take the highway, ripped the back roads. Um, so this yielded about a third of a truck. Um, I'm going to charge the contractor uh, for a third. It might be a little more. We're gonna check weight on it. Nice, just locked in a three truck clean out. Perfect, Tuesday's booked all day for that job great to hear for kathleen um so yeah i'm gonna charge him for a third of the truck because if it wasn't for the metal um it would have you know it probably would have been a third it, it could have been um a little bit less so like i said we do a bunch of work for this guy um you don't want to just start nickel and diming these contractors because they'll keep you busy in the slow season. February right now is supposed to be the slow season, um, and we're kind of busting through that. No, uh, no issues this year, which is awesome. Uh, so Connor's kicking off um, some metal right now. I got to make two phone calls uh, to um, a customer for tomorrow that just added some more stuff. I need to get some more info on that. She added through text. Um, and I'm gonna give the customer we're going to a call let her know we'll be there in 30 minutes So we'll uh, figure out how much this weighs. I'm going to say It's going away. I don't know like 800 pounds max um, the debris that's in the bags is a mixture of wood and um, Siding that's plastic, so it's not that heavy. So we'll figure out how much it weighs to Newton should take us 21 minutes I was a hundred pounds off on that uh, 700 weighed right around 40 50 bucks um, so on to the next one all right guys we are at job numero trace last job of the day so we already grabbed this stuff from that garage over there I'm gonna grab that bag of trash and in here we have we got this crap in here we got the desks all this stuff here we're gonna dump this barrel bring it back for him take that bag of trash grab the shelf back there take this little guy Take this, seen better days. Take this, take that desk. And last but not least is a fireproof file cabinet. So we've got some serious weight to them. And that's that, so follow along. All right, well, we got it this far. 
remnants of the wheel. Here's the wheel. Completely busted off because the safe is extremely heavy, so bigger heads will prevail. All right, guys, we are out of there. We got to go to one of the woman, women who works in the office has a green chair she wants us to take, but that's what it yielded. It's like a half truck, basically. A little bit more because the fire. Yeah. File cabinet. Um, yeah, so we're going to get out of here. We'll go swing by, grab a chair from her house, and hit the dump. So we just came from the white house to the right of that brick house. Grab this chair here. The old snatch Adams and toss in the back Adams. Could feel the earth shake with that. Now right, we're good to go. And we are the proud winners of a brand new ninja. We'll buck up for that at the end of the day. Rocks, paper, scissors. Shoot. All right, guys, the day is done. Finishing up here at 2.45. Not bad. 15 minutes. Never killed anybody. Um three jobs today uh expense wise dump fees were 200 we'll wrap that into the 600 dollars for daily expenses gas insurance truck payments all that good stuff so we're looking at 800 in total expenses for the day um subtract that from the sales we did and we're looking at like right around a grand uh in profit which is good for a day uh day like today it was a pretty easy day um no hiccups the first job was a little more time consuming than I planned. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, she had staged everything in the garage, but I figured there was going to be kind of stuff other places as well, which is fine. Um, something cool to touch on is uh, the company Work Ease um, did an interview with me the other day. It's on their Facebook page now. Oh, they got me talking on there too. Uh, they did an interview with me the other day. She sent it to me. There I am. She sent me the article there. Um, so something cool to check out if uh, if you want to check that out. That'd be cool. Um, I'm actually using the Workies platform um, for the next two weeks. Uh, free trial. Anyone can do it. Um, trying to kind of streamline things, make it a little bit easier. As you guys know, I do everything like a caveman and I'm very set in my ways. So using this platform is extremely difficult for me. Visually, I hate it right now, um, but I think it's something that I can get used to and it's going to make things 10 times easier as I expand, as I get you know someone in another truck driving and all that stuff. So, um, you know, some stuff just takes time. So that's it for the day, another eight hour day. So for those of you interested in learning about what this truck looks like in here, I mean, this thing, we're literally touching the wall to park it in here and it closes. I mean, you can't even, can't even shimmy by that. But we make it happen. Um, I got some organizing to do as usual. I'll probably turn this video off and leave and not organize anything. Um, but I do need to organize that stuff. I will probably go and get another wheel for this dolly that broke today. This one's a little wonky on the appliance dolly. Um, 
I just haven't been to Home Depot um, with my brain turned on. Every time I go to Home Depot, I have one thing in mind, which is whatever I need to get. And then the second I leave, I'm like, what the hell? I should have just gotten the other five things I need. Um, so I was planning on going there today anyways to buy a demo hammer, which is not a like rotary hammer like the SDS ones. Um, this is just for chipping and uh, breaking, but it's not a jackhammer. So it's like an in-between, um, almost just looks like a big like machine gun almost. But um, we have some jobs coming up for concrete demo and I'm sick of renting the Hilties. They're great, the Pro Breakers are great, but I'm sick of having to go to Home Depot, deal with the clown behind there that has no idea what he's doing and you know, wasting an hour of my life there and an hour of my life at the end of the day too. So um, if I do go pick that bad boy up, I'll probably get a couple wheels too. That's always, always why you want to have extra equipment. So we have two other dollies that are going to work perfectly fine for tomorrow if I don't get this wheel. Might not, I might, I don't know. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's taken a little while to get the day in the life's going again, um, but I'm jacked up that I, I filmed this one and um, I forgot how fun it was to do it. It's, uh, it's not the easiest thing to do during the day, especially when you know the phone's buzzing, you got emails coming through, you got um, you know clients that you're doing for the next day calling in, adding stuff, you got new clients calling in. Um, but you know, it's what you sign up for with a, with a uh, kind of one man operation or one truck operation, I should say, that, uh, that I have going on. So to all the followers and subscribers and all you guys out there, I appreciate it. Um, we're getting like new, new subscribers every, I mean, we're getting them new every day, but I mean, a lot more than, uh, than I expected. And we're surpassing, like, I think we're already, I think we're about to be at 3000 or something, which is pretty cool. So maybe I'll do one of those like giveaway things. I don't know. I'll probably give you a piece of trash. That's cool. Like this Ninja. I don't know if it's in there still. I think Connor took it out. I got to bring that, uh, I gotta bring that back to the customer. I knew when I was like, why is this thing brand new in box? I texted her, uh, we've done so much work for her, we're just on like a text basis. I texted her, I was like, I was like, yo, Aaron, like, was this supposed to go? And she was like, oh my God, no. So it's just a classic, classic case of, you know, you put your brand new blender on top of a pile of trash and we happen to take it. But I live down the street from him, so it's all good. Um, yeah, so that's the video. Until next time, thanks.